Hi, my name is Scott Friedman. I'm a solutions architect with InfoBlocks, and today we're going to look at a scenario where you might have a bunch of abandoned DHCP leases in your NIOS grid database. DHCP lease scavenging deletes expired and free leases, but not necessarily abandoned ones. This Python script will delete those abandoned leases in one fell swoop, saving you lots of time and effort. I'm going to start out on my command line. I'm doing this on my Mac, but any Unix type system will work. We've got a script here that calls out this Python script, and it has a couple variables in it, the IP address, the username, and password for my grid. Don't tell anybody. You also have to specify the WAPI version. This is different uh, between NIOS versions, so consult the admin guide for which version to put in here. My grid is 847, so I'm using version 2.9. So I'm gonna call out this Python script. I'm gonna run it directly here. And you see it has the delete no, which means it's just gonna list out all of my abandoned leases. You can see here that it's telling me I have 12 total abandoned leases. If we move over to my grid, you'll see that I've got 12 abandoned leases here. Remember that 12 leases is six actual unique IP addresses since I'm using DHCP failover and each member needs to know about both leases. So now I'm gonna pull my command prompt up again, and I'm gonna run this exact same command, except however this time I'm changing delete to yes. So instead of just listing them out, I'm gonna tell it I wanna actually delete those 12 abandoned leases. We're gonna let it run here for just a second. And you'll see it's actually deleting six because of course it's deleting them on both of them. So six IPs that it deleted is actually gonna be 12 abandoned leases. I'm going to run the same script again, but I'm going to change the delete back to no, so just list them out. Now you can see I've got zero. If I go back over to my grid and I refresh my leases here, you'll see that all my leases are gone. This script only took a couple seconds, but it could save you a lot of time and effort. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for you.